Joseph still in prison. Ladies and gentlemen, the story you're about to hear is true. I'm a detective. Abramowitz, Joe, just the facts, ma'am. I didn't see anything, but I know what happened. Two years after the butler forgot about his promise to Joseph to get him out of prison, the leader himself had a dream he did not understand. In the dream, he was standing by the river and seven fat cows came out of the water and were eating in the meadow. Then seven skinny cows came after them. The thin cows ate the fat cows. The leader woke up and then he went right back to sleep and dreamt a second dream. Seven ears of corn were on one stalk. They were beautiful and healthy, but then seven ears of corn came up that were pitiful and barren. These ears of corn swallowed the seven good and healthy ears of corn. The leader, who was the Pharaoh, was very disturbed. He could not figure these dreams out. He called all the magicians and soothsayers. None of them could interpret the dreams. Suddenly, the butler remembered Joseph, Joseph in the prison. He told the leader that Joseph knows how to interpret dreams. The leader sent for him. Joseph said to him, it's not in my power. God shall give you an answer. So Pharaoh tells Joseph his dreams. Then Joseph said, the two dreams are one. Listen, the seven fat cows are seven years, and the seven good ears of corn are seven years. This is it. The seven empty, unhealthy ears of corn are seven years of famine. In other words, there will be seven plenty, really, really good times, and then will come seven years of famine. The leader had the dream twice in two different ways because God is telling you it will happen soon. So Joseph let him know that he should gather up a fifth of the harvest in the seven years of plenty. It's very important that we gather the food in the good years and save it for the years of famine. This plan was a great idea. Pharaoh definitely thought so. He immediately put Joseph in charge of his household. He set him in charge over all the land. Only the leader himself would be higher than Joseph. He took the ring from his hand and put it on Joseph's. He dressed Joseph in fine linen robes and put a gold chain around his neck. He gave Joseph a woman to be his wife. Joseph had two sons. This is the end of the story for today. Bottom line, it's amazing where our journey through life will take us. Trust God and use the gifts he gives us. Please come back for episode four. More shall be revealed. Joseph and the Pharaoh's dreams. Genesis chapter 41 verses 1. Well, we're done for today. I'm leaving. Please view the comments from A.M. Jordan. Go to the section in the Bible, Genesis chapter 41, verses 1 through 57, and read it for yourself.